In this video, we're going to try to build a full on dropshipping business strictly using my phone. I'm talking editing together the website, creating advertisement, marketing the product all on my mobile device. Okay, so we're not actually gonna use this phone, but what's good guys, it's your boy Beheza back with another video. And in, the, in the last two years, I've spent hundreds, if not thousands of hours working in the whole e-commerce field. And although I basically strictly use my computer for everything related to the business, I do have the Shopify app installed on my phone, check up on my store, see how they're doing in terms of sales when I'm not working in the stew. Now, a few weeks ago, after the Labor Day weekend, I was out and about, not near a computer, when I realized that I had a Memorial Day weekend sale going on on one of my stores, and I forgot to take it down and the holiday already ended. Now, being that I wasn't near a computer, I figured I'd try the Shopify app on my phone. So I went on it and to my surprise, I was actually able to edit my website and do everything I had to do in order to remove the Memorial Day sale, which kind of led me to wonder, is it possible to actually start a dropshipping business on your phone alone? And after pondering upon this conundrum for the last few weeks or so, I have come to an absolute epiphany and realized that this concept would actually make for an absolute banger of a YouTube challenge video. And I can also go over some dropshipping tips and tricks as we go. So here we are. That's what we're going to do today. So getting straight into this step number one, we need to find a product. Now I actually came prepared for this video and I already found a product that's a proven winning product and has been selling for a little while now. But I think if I spend enough money on ads, I'll be able to squeeze a few more sales out of it. Now ignore the tab that shows me Googling what the word conundrum means so I can use it properly in the intro of this video. But here's the product. It's basically an iPhone case that has a squishy little fidget toy on the back of it. Here's a couple pictures over here to show you guys an idea of what it is. And there's even a video over here, which is part of the reason why I chose this because I can use this video that the seller provides as an advertisement after I edit it a little bit. Now the product is going to cost me $4 shipped total to the US. Now if I was making the website on my computer, I could probably charge like $18 with free shipping on it all day. But since I'm not very confident in how nice of a website I can design on my phone, I think we're gonna have to drop the price of the product in order to make up for the poor website design. So I'm thinking around $12.99 for it. We'll see once I'm done, maybe I'll even have to drop that depending on how the website looks. But anyways, now that I have a product in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the phone here and start building up this website. Now I'm not gonna sit here for an hour straight working on it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and migrate to the studio couch. And unfortunately, I didn't clean that part of the stew up so you guys won't be able to see it, but you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. I'm gonna be laying right over there. Building a website using a phone was an incredibly annoying process. I spent about 80% of the total time working on this website, just looking at this loading screen. Things were pretty buggy and very frustrating. I would spend 10 minutes completing something only for it to not be saved because the app would glitch out when I hit the save button. I also could not install some crucial apps that I feel like are a necessity nowadays, only because as I found out, you can't install any Shopify apps on your website from your phone. Now for the product photos, I got them straight from the AliExpress suppliers. I used one listing at first, but the photo just looked too unprofessional. So I decided to sell a case from a different supplier that was pretty similar, except it was black and had some much nicer photos. I also bought a domain for my website using the Shopify app. I'm really glad you could do that just because you absolutely can't get away with using the free dot my Shopify domain nowadays. And the custom one was only $14. So make sure you get a custom domain going whenever designing a website. Okay, so this is the page the customer would land on when they hit the link in bio. So here we got the image of the case. We got the price saying it's 50% off. We got a little description here and you can even choose which model of iPhone you have. So let's say I have the iPhone 7, you can add that to cart. And so here's the checkout page and I just wanted to mention it because a lot of people when working on Shopify websites forget about the checkout page because you got to do it separately. Like you got to add this logo in separately. You got to fix the colors on here separately. The default color is not very pretty. So I did that. I added the logo in and that's pretty much the website. Here's me creating the advertisement. I screen recorded a video that an AliExpress seller provided. I then trimmed it down to size using Snapchat. And then I have a second slide that I edited also using Snapchat. I mean, does it look great? Not really, but I've definitely seen worse looking ads and websites out there in the wild. So I, th I think we might have a chance here. Okay, so I got the website and the advertisement ready. Now, here's the deal. I really don't think we're gonna be profitable with this scheme. I don't expect to, just because I didn't realize how limited I am with what I can do on my phone. There's a few crucial things that I can't do with the Shopify apps when I'm building the website and the ad. I mean, I edited on Snapchat. Honestly, at this point, my goal is to get at least one sale because at that point we have a real customer, which means we have a real business, which means we succeeded with this challenge of creating a business on my phone. Now, moving on to my elaborate marketing scheme here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pay a few Instagram theme pages to upload the ad that I just showed you guys. On their pages, I figure if I pay for enough shoutouts, 
out of the hundreds of thousands of followers that see the ad, at least somebody's gonna buy it. However, finding the right Instagram pages to advertise on is one of the most important parts of this whole process. I mean, you can pay $40 to one page and not get any sales from it, and you can pay $40 to another and get $500 worth of sales from it. So choosing the right page can sometimes make or break the success of your product. Now, my biggest criteria when looking for pages to advertise this product on was to make sure that the page had a mostly female audience because I really don't think this product is gonna do too hot with a male demographic. Graphic. And I actually get a lot of comments under my dropshipping and Instagram marketing videos asking me for tips on how to find good pages to advertise on. And my biggest tip for this kind of thing would actually have to be to kind of disregard the follower amount that these pages have and focus a lot more on the engagement they get. Take a look at this page called Fitness. It's got a million followers, but if you look in their posts, some of their posts are only getting like 700, 800 likes. So if you're just getting into this, you might see the million followers and think this is a good idea, but it's really not. Now on the contrary, here we got a page in the same niche that only has 17% of the followers that the other page has. It only has 170K followers, but if you look at their posts, I mean, they're getting 3,000, 14,000, 7,000 likes on some of their posts. And so because the likes to follow ratio on this page is so much better, your chances of using this page to get on the explore page and go viral on the explore page is a lot higher. Now, I'm not going to give out the names of specific pages that I'm going to use for this video because I don't want to give them free promotion and I don't want to get blamed if you use them to promote one of your products and they don't do well. But two of the pages are actually very similar to this one right here. They're obviously not this page, but they're similar to it where they post kind of like these Twitter threads. They're kind of memes. They go over skincare stuff, that kind of thing for females. I checked the audience on the two pages and they're basically 100% female. The first one of those pages had 332K followers and wanted $40 for a 24 hour post. And then they had a little upsell scheme going where they actually charge an extra $3 for the link in bio. So the total for that page was $43. The second page in this niche only had 135K followers, but they still wanted $40 for it. They had good engagement, so I gave it to them. And if you're confused about the PayPal screenshot for that one, it was actually converted into Russian rubles when I send the payment through, which basically means that they had a Russian PayPal account or they're from Russia. And then I also got two ads in a niche similar to this one where they kind of post life hacks they post diy craft type stuff and i checked the audience and they were like 90 80 percent female on this niche one of these pages had a little over 500,000 followers and they wanted $50 for a 24 hour post and the other had around 80,000 followers and they only wanted I think 12 or $15. I'm not sure exactly because this one also converted I think into British pounds or euros, one, one of those currencies. So in total around $150 worth of team page shout outs. So hopefully out of all these thousands of people that are gonna see it, at least somebody buys it. However, if they don't, I still wanna salvage this video. In the case I don't get any sales, I'll actually go ahead and hop on my computer. I'll show you guys me editing the website Site, editing the advertisement, make it look nicer because I'll be able to do it from my computer, install some nice Shopify apps, and then we'll try it again on some different pages. Hopefully I don't have to do that and we get some sales from the get-go, but either way, the ads are scheduled to go up later today. I already paid for them. I just need to send these guys the advertisement that I just created that I showed you guys. So I guess I'll check back in in a day or two and tell you guys how we did. Yo, what is good? It's Wednesday. I'm back. It's currently 7.34 p.m. Let's get into the Shopify results. Now, I'm not going to fake a reaction here. I already looked at it. I already know how we did. And frankly, to build up some suspense here, I was very surprised by the results. And I'll actually go ahead and show you guys how the Instagram ads performed first because I think that'll help explain what happened with our store in the last 24 hours or so. So the first ad went up at around 11 a.m. on Tuesday and it got 1,800 likes. Not the best. Second ad went up at 3 a.m. and got 2,300 likes so a little better and the third advertisement also went up at 3 p.m and got around 3,000 likes but here is where things get interesting because when we get into the last ad that was posted at 5 p.m on tuesday things get wild here the fourth and final ad was posted on the 80k followers page and as you can see right over here, it ranked on the explore page and it got 14,000 likes, which is kind of insane because I paid the least amount of money for this ad, but it got the most amount of traction. But the reason I think it did so well is if you actually go into the page that I posted this on or got it posted on, you can see that it really blends in with the feed. It's not much different from the content that this page normally posts. I mean, looking at it from a distance at the feed, you can't even really tell that it's an advertisement. So it was a very organic type of promotion here. So with all of that in mind, here are the Shopify results. Now, yesterday, Today, right from the get-go after the first ad was posted we got our first sale which i was really hyped about at that point i was like okay this challenge is complete but later in the day after all the posts have gone up we got a second sale so that brought our total to 27.98 for two orders and i mean at this point i was i was hyped because it, we didn't get just one order we got two orders and this whole challenge was basically a success now here is where things get really interesting because i think that last post that i talked about the final advertisement they got 14k likes
Nights actually started getting some traction on the Explore page around midnight. And I feel like that's the case because if you look at the orders made after midnight, so that's today on Wednesday, you got almost $150. I mean, I realized that that's not a very big number, but it's insane considering the fact that I built the website on my phone and the ad was made on Snapchat. And I really believe that most of the sales actually came from that last advertisement that I only paid around $15 for. But if you combine all of the sales from yesterday and today, you get around $190 in total sales. And I was actually planning on fulfilling any potential orders on my phone, but that's because I figured we'd get like one or two sales. At this point, 10 orders, that's gonna take me forever to fulfill on my phone, be going back and forth between Shopify and AliExpress. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it to my automation service on my computer and I'll fulfill it that way. So technically I'm cheating a little bit here, but whatever and i mean i'm really hyped and excited about the results of this challenge but at the end of the day i'm sure a lot of you guys have already done the math in your head we spent about 150 dollars in advertisements then i'm going to spend around another 50 dollars to fulfill these orders and then if you count in the paypal and shopify processing fees we are still definitely in the negative here but in my eyes i see this challenge as an absolute win did we start a business on my phone we absolutely did so that wraps up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you subscribe and tune in next week where we're going to build a shop by dropshipping business on this calculator over here. But seriously, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.